In the last lesson, we learned about all of the different types of data that we can store using Python variables. But once we have data in our programs, what can we actually do with it? This is where data operations come in. In programming, we perform operations to manipulate and change the data stored in variables by writing expressions. An expression is a line of code that combines values, variables, and operators to get some result. The values or variables in the expression are called operands, while the symbols between them are called operators. In this code snippet, we're adding the numbers four and five together with the addition operator, the plus sign. Let's look at the other arithmetic operators besides addition. Python's arithmetic operators follow the usual rules of mathematics and let you do math with any of your numeric variables. We can subtract with the minus sign, multiply using an asterisk, and divide using the forward slash. Here's a table with the four arithmetic operators and three more we'll talk about in a later lesson. You don't have to memorize them. This is just a reference to look back at. You'll also get a chance to practice using operators in Python in the exercise after this lesson. Each data type in Python has different operators that will work with it. So we could also use the plus sign as a string operator. Let's try this out in the Python console. What do you think will happen if we run this line of code in Python? The plus sign adds together the two strings. Python doesn't know that these strings need a space in between. To the program, the string is just a list of characters. To add the space we need to read these two words, we need to add a space character to one of the string values that we're concatenating. Now that the string includes a space, adding the strings works the way that we expect. So far, the operators work how most people would guess. Math operators do what those symbols mean in math class. Adding strings together puts one string on the end of another string. So what do you expect to happen when we multiply a string by a number? In Python, it lets us repeat the word as many times as we want. We also have one other string operator called the membership operator. And this operator uses the keyword in to tell us if one string appears inside of another. So if we check for the word there in hello there, we can see that Python returns true. Python operators don't always look like symbols. Sometimes they're keywords like in that Python knows about. We'll cover some of the Python keywords in this course, but you can also look them up with an internet search. Boolean values have their own set of operators but we're going to cover those later in the course when we talk about conditionals. So let's jump into the last category of operators, assignment operators. The first operator that we saw was the assignment operator written with the equals sign. We can keep track of a value like puppy age by starting with it set to zero. Let's see how the assignment operator works when we combine it with the addition operator. One of the most common tasks we'll do in our programs is to update or reassign the value of a variable. So every year, we might want to add one to our puppy age, like this. When this code runs, this is a two-step process. First, Python evaluates the right side of our assignment operator, puppy age plus one, and then reassigns our variable puppy age on the left side to contain the new value. So if we ran this again, Python would see that the puppy age was now one, so the right-hand side in total is two and then that's what gets stored in the updated puppy age variable. Because this is such a common task, Python has a shorthand version of these assignments that combine the two parts of the operation. So if we wanted to shorten our previous expression, we could write age plus equals one to increment our puppy age variable by one. This works for all of our other arithmetic operators as well. You can try out the next exercise to practice using arithmetic, string, and assignment operators.